everyone. Welcome back to IT Learn 360 Learning Tutorial. And in today's video, we are going to talk about defect and defect report. So for that, let us open QA Manual Tester course from IT Learn 360 portal and let us understand what is defect report. So for building a defect report, we should have a defect, right? So what is defect? Let us open first, what is defect? Let us understand that. So we will go step by step. First, we will understand what is defect. Then we will see how defect report looks like. So what is defect? Defect is an error or a bug in the application or product or software which is created. Example, if we take defect, maybe a broken link or an error in function. The what error it can be? It can be an error which uh, it, the function which is not mentioned in the requirement that can also be count as an error as well. A developer or a programmer while designing application can make some mistakes or errors. If there are those mistakes and errors in application, it means there are flaws in application and those flaws are called defects. Now, different organizations have different names to describe this variation. Commonly defects are also known as bug, problem, incidents, or some organizations call as, called as issues as well. So these are the different terms which organizations used for calling a defect or a bug. Now we have a knowledge of defect. So let us understand and see how defect report looks like. So I am having a very good defect report template, which I'm going to use here to understand. So let us come back. I hope this is visible to all of you that here is a defect report where we first add a project name that what project this defect report is about. First thing we did give a defect ID. So defect ID is a unique ID which we assign to each defect so we can easily counter it. So defect ID is given. After that, there comes a defect description. In defect description, we tell that what this defect is about. So let's suppose home page is not opening after clicking home page icon. This can be a description. Now, similarly, our defect, every information have to be very clear. So developers or our team leaders, whoever check our defect report will understand that what defect we are talking about. So after adding a defect description, steps to reproduce added. Now, this is the very important section, which we have to write it very clearly. In defect report steps to reproduce, here we write complete steps that how the bug we found. So that developers, when they again follow the process, they can see that this is the bug which we added. So complete steps to reproduce we added, like after logging in, we clicked on the home page icon and icon is not displayed. After that, the next term is severity. Now severity here we classify the defect. Now based on high, medium, low, we assign the severity. Now severity totally depends on the requirement that we already divide or classify that which work goes into which severity. There are basically three severities, high, medium, low. High goes for those severities which block us from using the functionality of a software medium goes to the bugs which half block us and half let us work on the functionality of the software and low comes to those bugs the bugs which are in the software but they are letting us use the functionality of a software example as spelling errors or grammatical mistakes on the website moving forward the next comes after assigning a severity we goes with created by so here we add who is the tester who found and created this bug. After that, assign to. Now who is the responsible person who have to fix this bug is assigned under assigned to. 
in the last there is a defect screenshot so if it is possible to mention a bug with the screenshot we there are many snipping tools we have in our system like a snipping tool so we as a testers use those tools to take a snapshot of the bug and add it into the defect report so this is all about how in industry we as a testers create a defect report i hope you guys learned from this video and you enjoyed it do let us know in comments for more learning topics and tutorials which you want from us thank you have a great day ahead bye bye